So as you can see, we have here the, the two kinds of sonoff. This is a sonoff model that work on 5 volt and it stopped working for me. So I said, hey, why not try to use this instead of this? And I'm almost sure that uh, it's not a big problem to do it. So let's steer it down and uh, see if we can make this one to work on 5 volt instead of 220 volts. So first step is of course to remove the box. By the way, I've never done it before, so hopefully it will work. So we can see here we have all the RF uh, and the antenna. This is the RF circuit and we have the uh, diode for the 220 volts input, which I'm not going to use. But then we have a transformator here that probably take the voltage down and I suspect that it take it down to 5 volts. And there we have the relay, the internal relay inside. This relay is just a, a normally open, which means when it gets power you can just use it and normally close. But it's not a big problem to, to remove this relay or mount this relay instead of this with wires. So now let's try to work it on 5 volt and try to understand. So if you will look, this is of course the input of the 220 volts going through the resistor and we have a circuit here and they did a nice job here. We have the two input of the 220 volts, one of them gets to the output directly and the other one is going through the relay connectors here. So these are the relay connectors. About the input, probably this is the transformer, I guess. And we have here the output capacitor and probably there is some regulation voltage here. Which I see this is a regulator because I see the number 1117 that I know that this is a regulator uh, chip. So this is the output and this is the capacitor out. So I expect that uh, the voltage here on this diode should be 5 volt and then this will circuit will work on 5 volt. So just need to connect a uh, two wires positive and negative and I will try to connect it to 5 volts and see if this is really working on 5 volts. So let's do it. So I have here a black and a red wires. So let's try to connect them directly on the diode and see if my theory is working and this can work on 5 volts I need to check it because I don't know about the relay what do I mean? you need to make sure that this relay is suitable for 5 volts or this is 12 volt I think there is something written on the relay but I really can't see it right now the best way of course is to take it off the circuit there is a number here which I don't see because the capacitor is hiding all the information but Let's try it out and then we use a uh, fluke to see if it can work and if turn on and off the relay. So first thing of course to prepare the wires and now let's see which is the positive and which is the negative. I'm just going looking at the capacitor so the negative should be this side so of course do it very carefully because you don't want to short other components here so I guess this is the negative 
and I guess that the other side of the dirt is the positive so I will do it like this okay okay so now we'll apply 5 volts and see if this is actually working and we could convert this 220 volts to 5 volt circuit so let's connect power supply connected now the power supply aha this seems to work now we need to check if the relay will work because we can see the LED flashing now the only issue here is that I'm not sure that it will be enough power to work if the relay does work on the same voltage as all the circuit here so uh, maybe by the way the best way was of course to connect it to 220 volts and measure the voltage maybe we'll do it later just to make sure that I've done the, the proper sync uh, maybe maybe I will do it right now because maybe this regulator is for 3.3 volt and not for 5 volts so I need to check it I need to verify it so do not try to do it at home okay I will do it just for demo purpose only so please do not try this at home I am doing it for you because it is dangerous and it is all without cover and don't try it at home okay so now let's see what happens we have 5 volts we can see it okay so my estimation was clearly reasonable and do not try it okay now you know it should work on 5 volts without a, a problem okay so now we'll continue and see if we can pair it and the relay works uh, as expected so mounting everything back so now everything is connected and uh, I will try to pair it uh, this device so in order to do it I need to go to the application and now a long press for a few seconds okay successfully now let's try to see if this is working aha there is a new firmware I need to update the firmware so let's do the update for the firmware now and then test it again uh, by the way I hear the relay but the relay is doing nothing and I know exactly why it is doing nothing and I will explain to you so we need to do another modification I will show you why because the relay is now uh, conducting from this side to this side so no, no need to, to, to do any modification if you remember when we looked at the bottom there, there is we can see the connection between this wire and this wire they are connected both two wires are connected so if you want to use the relay you have to connect one side on this screw here and one side on this screw here these are going through the relay right now so what I need to do is to remove the black from here connect it here and probably this will solve the problem I'm waiting now uh, for the firmware to be updated okay so I have connected now the wires that I think that will be connected this side here and this side here so let's try it I'm now uh, using uh, the application 
we put it maybe in frame so pressing it okay working perfectly so this is the way uh, to do a modification and change your 220 volt Sonoff relay to 5 volt and work with it without any issue. So hope this is helpful to anyone. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.